Hey everyone, I'm Daryl from Gorgeous. In this chapter, we're gonna explore an important metric, especially for SaaS and subscription-based businesses, net revenue retention rate. This video is the fifth chapter in our KPIs and metrics course. Check out the previous chapters if you haven't already. Let's get started. What is net revenue retention rate? Net revenue retention rate is how well your brand generates revenue from existing customers within a certain time period. Unlike customer retention rate, which only accounts for customer growth, net revenue retention rate includes changes in your revenue as a result of customers making additional purchases. This is an essential metric to track. For more about customer retention rate, check out our blog post linked in the description below. The bottom line is, NRR gives a more comprehensive picture of customer loyalty by tying it to a dollar amount. To calculate your NRR rate, you need to look at three key numbers. The number of customers you start with in a given period, the customers at the end of that period, and the new customers acquired in that period. Here's the formula. Note that the result will be expressed in a percentage. NRR equals starting monthly recurring revenue, MRR, plus revenue from upgrades, loss from churn customers, divided by starting MRR times 100. Okay, that seemed a little complicated, so let's try an example. Say your business brings in $10,000 at the beginning of January. In the middle of the month, customers purchase more products and add $20,000. However, some customers stop doing business with you and you lose $5,000. We get $25,000. Then we divide by 10,000 our starting MRR and multiply by 100 to get a percentage. Our final NRR rate for January is 250%, a healthy NRR. A rule of thumb to follow is an NRR rate above 100% means your business is in good health and expanding. An NRR below 100% means customers are churning or downgrading. Now that you know your NRR rate, let's talk about how to boost it in six ways. The first way is to enhance customer experience. Here are a few tricks to improve CX. Offer self-service resources on your website. This can be anything from an FAQ page to chat. The goal is to guide customers to answers so they don't have to contact your support team. Use automation in your support process. Automation can include using a help desk to automate ticket management, or a chat widget to give customers automated answers on your site. Optimize your website for mobile. A significant portion of e-commerce revenue comes from mobile users. So don't forget to make browsing your mobile site hassle-free. The second way to boost NRR rate is to perfect post-purchase communication. The experience after the purchase is as important as checkout. Here's a checklist of what post-purchase emails you should be sending. Order confirmation email, purchase confirmation email, order tracking email, order delivered email, and a feedback request email. This kind of proactive communication shows customers that you care about their purchase and want them to stay in the loop. It's the key to building long-term loyalty. The best way to keep customers coming back is with rewards. So third on our list is to develop a loyalty program. A loyalty program should show your returning customers that you care about their business. You can show it by offering exclusive perks like early access to new products, discounts, free shipping, or freebies in their upcoming orders. Check out Loyalty Lion, a gorgeous partner and engagement tool that helps Shopify stores create a successful rewards program. They turn shoppers into loyalty customers through points, rewards, and tiers. The fourth and arguably most important way to boost NRR rate is to learn from customer feedback. Customers will let you know exactly what they need when they contact your support team. But sometimes they need a nudge. Surveys and product reviews are your top sources to get insight into how customers feel about your brand. A continuous loop of feedback and improvement is key to retention. This is also where having an understanding of CSAT comes into play. If you missed it, we covered CSAT in a previous chapter. Be sure to check it out. The fifth way to boost your NRR rate is to market according to your customer segments. Customer segmentation is when you divide your customer base by common characteristics. You can group customers by demographics like age or gender, location like country or city, or life cycle stage like new or VIP customers. The list goes on. Once you've grouped your customers, you can market to them in ways that will appeal to their specific group. For example, marketing to teens versus a 60 plus group will look completely different. The easiest way to market to your different customers is with a marketing automation tool like Klaviyo. Klaviyo integrates with Gorgeous and automatically detects and updates your customer base into segments, making it easy for you to send relevant messages to each group. The final way to boost NRR rate is to master the art of upselling and cross-selling. 
Suggesting customers to buy more products without being pushy can be challenging. Luckily, we have tools that help make upselling and cross-selling more automatic and less disruptive. For instance, we have Gorgeous Convert, which makes upselling a seamless part of the buying journey. With Convert, you can upsell and cross-sell 24 seven because of automation. Need more incentive? Check out this testimonial from Odeer, their stationary brand that partnered with Gorgeous, revamped their strategy, and saw a quarterly $12,500 lift in revenue. And that's a wrap on boosting net revenue retention rate. To recap, net revenue retention rate measures customer loyalty through revenue, whereas customer retention rate uses the size of customer base. An NRR rate of over 100% is a sign you're retaining customers. Anything below means it's time to improve your strategy. Finally, you can boost NRR rate by improving customer experience, developing a loyalty program, getting customer feedback, marketing by customer segments, and upselling. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Gorgeous YouTube channel for more e-commerce tips. In the next chapter, we'll be talking about resolution time. I'm Daryl, and I'll see you in the next one.